हेलो एवरीवन सो शुभा इज बैक विद अ स्मॉल लेट बिट ऑफ आई डॉक इन्फॉर्मेशन अगेन सो आई वुड लाइक टू समराइज व्हाट ऑल वी हैव डन टिल नाउ we have done the creation of segments we have done the creation of idoc type we have understood what is an idoc segment how it is related to idoc type and how we go ahead so uh, the basic structure of idoc i expect that you all have understood and now no more of tension that what is an idoc how to do that how to do this so this much part should be very clear to each and every one of us so let's go to a next session the next session on this we want to understand how do we debug an idoc so what is an idoc if suppose your idoc comes and your idoc gets the status as 51 your business shouts at you my customer is not created my this is not done my order is not created my po is not created what to do at that level it is i am talking about currently inbound idocs i am not talking about outbound we are talking firstly about inbound idocs the data that from other server is coming to your place and when you are creating the same uh, data in your database is giving us error but that what is the error how do we resolve this let's go to a transaction code we57 or might be we can go to we02 this is idoc repository if you remember i showed this you showed this to you last time as well that we02 we05 two t codes are there with which you can get the complete list of idocs so let's see since this is a ida system i don't think it would have much data and over here we can put that we have current status as 51 that is the inbound idoc will have the error status let's see how many idocs do we have here so there is only one idoc that has uh that has a status as 51 51 means error so see this mark shows you that it's an error 51 status itself is an error 53 status is success 64 status in inbound idoc is that it is wa waiting to get executed we would go to status records now here we know 51 is the status if you see 64 it was earlier in 64 and when it got executed it changed to 51 so there is some problem how do we identify the problem so it is saying a message number has been issued to this 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 let's see the message number oh oh i don't remember the message number so we we'll put that message number copy that and then we'll try to see what the error is so it says that the problem is very important and the error it gives is you are not you have not fully maintained in tax classification so because we are create, it is a math mass idoc that it is going to create a material number so for that in this case it is not maintaining the tax classification my point of showing this is not for configuration the configuration is part of functional people from we want to debug how this error came what is the problem that is our concern let's open the same idoc in a very special t code for debugging i'll take the idoc number that's my idoc number the another the very special t code is we19 we19 this is an idoc in which this is the t code in which we can recal create our idocs we can create new idoc for template temporary or we can just have a look how the debugging going wrong what is the issue so we can debug over here so we have to use existing idoc the rect 
So I click on create. What it does is it's every time it creates a new IDOC. So that is the way we can debug it. So when we have, when we use WE19, there are multiple things. So the same IDOC has come over here. What you can do is whatever error was there, you can put that correction over here and then try to execute and see whether it's working fine or not before actually coding. Okay, another thing that's very important over here is that how can you see a function module? Okay, inbound processing function module. So here we can give the function module name and everything and we can execute in foreground and in foreground with error. Or we can call it in debugging mode. But currently I don't know what function module does it exist. Is it using? So instead we'll do one more thing. See, these are the ways you have to try and figure it out. Suppose you knew that this is the function module with which it should uh, it is executing. So put the function module name, call in debugging mode and try to execute it. And then you will in the debug mode, you will get to know what it is. So as you see, this is the IDOC. Now if we press F8, it will give you the function module one minute. let's press f8 it gives us that idoc input matma01 is the function module that has been used to execute this function uh, this idoc so if we go directly to this function module as an abapper we all can do this that we can put a breakpoint and we can see and execute it again and again where are we stuck Anyhow, we can do checks and things. Requires a little bit of uh, what you call it as patience to check each and every point where it is going. Again, it's a simple standard debugging which will require your time. Okay, coming on to this point, how can you, suppose you have a new field that or new check, your uh, functional has said that I want this thing to, uh, this check, uh, material number should only start from this number even if he has done TV, uh, the range he wants for specific material type he wants some different range and he cannot put that different range in his uh, range table so he will require our help to help him in this so what how can we do this we have all the data which is sent in IDOC in this function module. Using that data, we can find a proper enhancement place. Either a call customer function would be there or you can even do an implicit enhancement if it is allowed at your organization. So both the things, there are many, many uh, call customer functions inside of uh, IDOC function modules. So we can use them very nicely. In this way, we enhance our, these function modules. I'll give you an example. When I was working uh, with a very big company, so what, what requirement was that it had multiple company codes. So after a few time, they, uh, after a few years, they asked us that this data should transfer to this company code and should, this data should transfer, keep moving to that company code. The accounting should happen and the accounting data should move in a different GL account. So there were two changes. So it wasn't easy for us to do, uh, the functional person to do all the changes. It was a difficult task for a functional to reevaluate all the huge amount of materials and then do it for them. So what we did, we modified our IDOC, we modified our function module, we found that we gave an enhancement point where we can do this, these things. So we wrote onto it and then we created a function, a group of, uh, for that we uh, fetched, uh, we created a program in which we fetched all those material types down, uh, between that date, all the data, and then we created in program only the function uh, IDOCs so that it will automatically create new uh, function, uh, new materials. So in this way, you have to think how can we 
ease out our requirement. Hope, I hope, really I hope that you guys understood that it's not one way that we can use these function modules. You can extend them, you can change them, you can do everything like we do in our standard function modules or in our standard reports. In the similar manner, there are enhancements, there are ways we can think over it. Don't think that it is, cannot be changed. Similarly, it's a standard. If it's standard, then you have to follow the standard procedure. If it is custom, you have to follow the custom procedure. As an ABAPA for us, we know how to handle all these things. So finally, we understood that it's a standard function module and it will work in the similar manner like we uh, have to debug a standard or enhance a standard report, program, standard function module. So nothing to worry about. Similarly, coming back to IDOC structure on WE19. Suppose you create a new segment or a new IDOC type, you want to test it. So you can manually also put an IDOC, create an IDOC in it and execute it. So this helps in understanding if I, it's the best part of uh, WE19 is that you get to know what value should we pass so that our IDOC is successful. So in development, in IDES system, in whichever system you have your development systems, do try this. WE19 is a big, big support and it helps in understanding each and every point. So you can debug it, you can understand the function modules and you can see how to make it work it. So this is what is WE19. The major thing which everyone asked me in uh, comments was that please to help us in IDOC debugging. So there, these, this is what is actually a debugging part of uh, IDOC and you don't have to think that it is a difficult part. Just think it as a simple function module that is executed behind it. Of course, it's a standard function module. If it's a standard IDOC type, if it's a custom function module, it will be a custom IDOC type. Now, another thing that comes is IDOC extensions. What are IDOC extensions? I would take another uh, session to explain what are IDOC sessions, but yes, my next point is IDOC session. I would like to uh, tell, you, e tell each and every one of you, thank you for seeing my videos, but I would expect more and more comments so that I can refine my videos that what data you actually want to see. This is what is IDOC. If there are any questions ahead of it and you want me to explain those points, please, please, I would request you to put your comments on the doc, on the video and let me know your points. If not, then we'll take one more session for IDOC extensions and I will take any extra questions that you guys can put me up till that much time and then I will start with web server proxy and uh, your Web, service, web services and proxy. So that is a good part of thing that I really want to share with all of you. So let me know and hope you like my video. Keep commenting, keep telling what are your questions that help me in refining my content. Thank you everyone.